What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Striker, and we're doing a let's play of Terra, continuing off where I left off with the character Strick, uh, Cl Slayer, Slayer class. Um, today it's going to be very unique. Hopefully, the webcam is working. Uh, I apologize if the audio is going out of sync. I don't know, sometimes it just doesn't work right. But anyway, um, today it's going to be kind of different. Not that kind, but in terms of control. It's going to be different. Usually I play with a 360 controller on my PC. But this time it's going to be different. I'm going to be using this. The Steam controller. So, the setup seems pretty much easy. Uh, the batteries, the, the battery sets goes right here. There's a flip, there, there's a sort of switch out there. Uh, right at the bottom that allows you to open the panels so you can put in the batteries. And of course... At the same spot where the panel is, you have those two switch that you can press on, which acts as extra buttons. And from the feel of it, I gotta say, this uh, this is really weird. Since I'm basically more to the tr traditional controllers with two analog sticks, I'm wondering, I'm wondering how well I'm gonna play with this. It's weird, and. Chances are it might not be that comfortable. It's not for everyone though. So. In any case. Alright. Anyway. Let's jump in. Uh, this uh, D-pad. Instead of having like a, a second analog stick to, to move the camera around. You have like this touch pad. That uh, you just move it around. Now the thing is. Is that this device also has like a uh, voice. It also has vibration, so every time you make a movement with uh, the touch screen, uh, it's going to initiate a small vibration just to tell you that you do this. And apparently there's a gyro function on it. But uh, I think I don't have... I didn't have it activated or I didn't see it anyway. So, of course, there's like the function of a D-pad, but it's not there yet. So we're going to have to see how it goes. Uh, so, anyway... So without further ado, let us begin. And hopefully everything's gonna go right. We're gonna see if... Well, not literally, since it's not a, really a third person. But it's just gonna get me started on it. So, let us begin. Better check the controls, though. I hope there were, also, there were no massive change. Okay, thanks for letting me know that. So, alright. Select skills. Okay, that didn't change much. Uh, much. Auto run. Yeah, no need for auto run. Who needs that shit? D, A, B, A, interact. L, B, L, T, camera. All right. Better increase the sensitivity a bit.
Yeah, it's gonna take some while to get used to it. Catch that well. You need my help? For the Federation. <laughs> it's definitely going to take some time. I'm following you, I'm following you. Just move faster than that, can you?
Oh yeah, this is gonna take some time, really big time, for me to get adapted to this. So I'm gonna have to play like a game. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Leave it at that. I know it's pretty short, but I'm just doing a test for the whole, the whole thing is to see how well this thing works. So that's it for this game. I'm gonna try another game, probably more into the third person's perspective. We'll see how it works and probably make some adjustments to it. So, see you next video.